Hello and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward, and the moment is finally here. I get to talk about Black Panther. I'm recording this Thursday evening. Just came from the show, IMAX show. It was a wonderful experience. I must say the film is something special. It's a it's a treasure. And I know it it's a Marvel film and I know it's a a black film, a black cast, and a lot of people are going to see the movie, you know, just for that. But beyond that, the film is incredible. Uh majority of the film it's in Wakanda. Uh it's it's a different type of place. It's it's good to be in the Marvel Universe, but in a, a another place, not just you're, you're on Earth, but you're you're not really on Earth. It just feels different. Uh, the the lighting, the color, the scenery, it's just beautiful. Uh, the people of Wakanda are different. You they they give you a good backstory about the place and you know how everything is done, and you just see so many different types of people there. Um, they have they they have a uh, history and it's it really comes through in this film it's not just you know just people placed in a, a special area it's it's really a, a a historic place in this film and you just see how they they live and it's it it's it's really something incredible on screen um the fact that they were able to do this and the creativity and the vision of you know everybody involved is just mind blowing. Um, as far as negatives, I would say that during some of the fight scenes, the camera is moving around a lot. It's it's jumping from person to person, and they do that slow motion action sequence where you know you're jumping real far or something like that. It just looks it looks really fake and CGI ish, you know, at certain times, but that's as far as I have with with the negatives um the standouts uh of course Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther um it's good to see him this time around just talking more you know Civil War he didn't really talk that much but it's good to see him as the king and also as the Black Panther and as the king he has a lot of difficult choices he has to make um He's really just thrust into it, you know, in Civil War, his father passed away. So, you know, he has to make a lot of decisions that the people aren't, you know, too happy with. But, you know, as Black Panther, of course, he's incredible. He has great chemistry with every everybody on the screen. Uh, the villain, Michael B. Jordan, Eric Killmonger, he's, he's a great villain. He, he reminds me of Winter Soldier. Um, he's menacing. He's scary. You know he can really fight. Um, just like uh, in Winter Soldier, when Cap in, in Winter Soldier face off, you know it's like they're you know they're equals in a way. You know, you when you watch that movie, you know Winter Soldier can could really hurt Cap. And when you watch this, you know Killmonger could really hurt uh, Black Panther, and he has a reason you know, for his anger and, you know, for what he's doing. And he, Michael B. Jordan, just the the facial expressions that he's making, it's just, it's something different that you haven't seen from him. Um, in Creed, you've seen intens- intensity and stuff like that when he's in a ring. But here, you just, you see the anger. He's not always saying stuff, but, you know, he's cunning, he's smart, and he's 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 a dangerous villain. He's a really good villain uh, for the Marvel Universe. Um Lapita, I've never seen her in this type of role before. You know, she's very strong, very smart. Uh, she loves Wakanda. Um, and, you know, she's just absolutely beautiful when she's on screen. Um, you have uh, Black Panther's sister. Um, she's definitely the smartest person in the Marvel Universe. She's smarter than Tony Stark. She's she's smarter than Banner. Uh, it's... Great seeing her on screen. She's so happy and carefree. Uh, she's she's funny. She she does a lot of the jokes in the movie, um, but she also cares a lot about not just her people, but people in general. Uh, her technology is something we've never seen before, and I I hope they really expand on it in future movies. 
Um, it's just, it's a movie that everybody needs to go see. Um, not if you're just black. Uh, the movie is, you know, it's the story of Black Panther, you know, and you get a lot of history about, you know, where he comes from. But overall, the movie is about family. It's about choices you make. It's about making tough decisions. Uh, it's about helping others, not just people who look like you, but, you know, helping the world come together. Um, it's about it's about sacrifice. And, you know, sometimes you have to make a tough choice that not everybody agrees on. But, you know, you're doing it for the greater good. It's it's something amazing, honestly. And I'm going to go back and see it again a couple of more times. Uh, there's two end credit scenes that you would stay that you want to stay for. Uh, nothing too crazy, but again, Black Panthers is fun. It's different. It's it's Marvel. Um, the characters are great. I can't wait to see them all on screen. The conflict is is good. The action is good, um, and it's it's just a overall enjoyable film. Go out and see it. It doesn't matter what you see it. I seen it in IMAX. It was just 2D. So it doesn't matter what kind of format you see it in, but really take your family to go see it. Take your kids to go see it. I I went and it was just a, a group of like high school kids, you know, all African-American. And it was like the news was there, you know, talking to them, I guess, you know, asking them about the experience that they, you know, they get ready to witness and everything. It was just good to see. But, you know, the crowd in general was very diverse. A lot of excited faces overall. Uh when you see the movie, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Did you like it? Did you love it? Deuces. Deuces.